after the last few weeks, that was something that we, you know, really preached. Um, and we knew against this kind of team that that was going to be, you know, such an important deal. So I was, was really proud of the start, really pretty proud about how we played the entire first half. I had a dumb call on uh, the last, last third down there, you know, when we kicked the field goal before half. Uh, other than that, I thought the guys really, really played well. You know, we drove it still decent the second half. Um, you know, had the turnover down there, you know, going in, but, you know, was really proud. We got those last two scores. You know, those those were important. Um, the game was still certainly in the balance there, and to get those scores in crunch time was huge. Was there any uh, hesitancy in, in calling that? Because on, on one hand, I'm sure you you just assume run some clock, but on another, you obviously felt it was there. Yeah, you just, you know, Guys did a great job. The assistant coaches, you know, just continue to tell me, which we talked about all week. You you have to stay aggressive against a defense like K State. If you if you start get, to get conservative and you sit there and hand it off every single time, they will prey on you. And uh, they've done it against everybody. They're one of the best run defenses in the country. You know, they keep their safeties very very involved in the run game. And so we felt like still sooner or later we needed to score one more there. And we felt like you know sooner or later we were going to have to take a shot, and we got it. We just got the ball exactly on the perfect spot that we wanted it, and you know we trusted our guys. You know we trust. I have a lot of trust in Bake. You know in those situations, he's he's played a lot of ball, and uh, so I don't I don't get too hesitant about taking shots in a time when a lot of people would expect expect you to sit there and run it. Yeah, he's you know he's separating. He's you know Didi's doing a lot for us. Um, you know, similar to what you know Shep did last year in a different way. You know, like I said Shep's were more over the middle. You know, the short stuff where you know when Didi gets one on one, he can he can win down the field. And uh, so he's you know that's that's been important for us. Teams have have tried to load up to stop our run game, and it's given us those matchups. And uh, you know he's he's winning most of those right now. Um, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, um, it, you know, it worked. It, it was good. You know, great job by Joe and Didi on the execution. The line did a great job. You know, again, it, it just it when you play somebody that aggressive, you cannot. You got to do some things out of the ordinary a little bit to to take that away. And uh, I, if you sit there and are conservative, it's you just feel like you're playing uphill the entire game. And uh, so we had some things there. You know, and it, that was just a great execution by our guys. When we know that Joe was capable of that play. Say, I'm sorry, say that again. Have you always known that Joe's capable of, of making the decision and throwing and all those things? Yeah, Joe's capable of anything. You know, there's there's not much that guy can't do. And uh, that that's, you know, the thing you're always concerned about is what you said, the decision. And, uh, you know, that if it doesn't work out how you draw it up, are they still going to make a good decision? And that's, you know, that's what's great about those guys is, you know, their ability to still pull it down and, and get yards. He did a great job with it throughout the week. And uh, yeah, I was obviously happy that we got the look that we hoped we'd get. Lincoln, uh, Lincoln, last week you said that there was still more that DB could do after three touchdowns. He had three more touchdowns today. What, in your mind, can he improve on? Catch, catch the ball on the first drive of the third quarter, <laughs> you know. Um, he, he's playing good. I mean, no, there's there's no doubt it. And again, it's it's about consistency. There's there's some things that happen that, that you guys don't always see when maybe the ball's not going towards him, or or you know maybe in the blocking game, or maybe a route where the ball didn't get thrown to him. That, that he's got to continue to build on. And uh, so and he's done that. But he's obviously a ton of credit to him. He's making a ton of plays right now. He's had lots of uh, wide receiver touchdown passes, double passes, and stuff like that. But this first running back, halfback, touchdown pass in 40 years. Is there something about running backs that? Who was the last one, Joe? Joe Washington. Yeah, Joe told me that on the field the other day. Yeah, if we had Joe, we'd do it more often. Right. Um, I mean, do they play catch as much? Is there something inherent in wide receivers being better at it than, or is it just a product of the offense? Uh, it's probably receivers generally. You know, whether they're high school quarterbacks, they're used to throwing and catching just more. Um, you know, running back sometimes you get big bruising guys that that's that's just not their deal. And uh, but fortunately, when like I said, when you have a guy like Joe that's so versatile, you know, there's there are so many things you can do with a guy like that. They are, you know, they are. They, uh, you know, Eric's played very, very well at center. Um, 
And then Ben Powers at guard has been a great thing. You know, Ben is probably physically a little more suited to play guard. You know, Alvy's been able to go over and do it just because he's a heck of a player and kind of a kind of a jack of all trades. Um, but Ben physically, you know, is is what you want in a guard. And uh, so, and that group's playing so well. And we knew with all the shuffling lineups, with all the injuries early, that we needed continuity. And, you know, the, the production's been there. So, you know, why change it? Um, but again, it's a long road, something else will happen. And, you know, Alvy and those other guys will ask them to step up again, I have no doubt. Lincoln, you, you guys last year, before the end of the year, you got to where I hit you made it look easy. It hasn't been that way this year, but the first two drives today, you made football look pretty easy. How, I mean, how big is that just for this team after everything has gone? Well, it looked pretty good now the last two weeks. Uh, so I, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's easy, but I mean, we've been doing a lot of good stuff, and and we, the thing that we did today for a longer period of time is we played more mistake-free football, um, which you know you guys heard me, heard us say it all week. That was our big deal, both because of us, and that's what we needed to improve on, and also, you know, going against the kind of team we were, and so we did that especially early in the game. The guys were clean. You know, I don't think we put a, a ball on the ground. You know, we had the, the tip ball interception that, you know, that we expect to make a play on. And really, other than that, we played, you know, didn't have many penalties. You know, we played a very, very clean game, played a lot more mistake free. And especially, you know, not not having Samaje there for a while and not having Joe, had some other guys step up. And, uh, you know, proud of those guys for playing the game. You know the way that we really pushed them through this week. Got Samaje for 30 plus carries last week, 200 some yards. He goes down, three carries in, but this week can't play. How does that change what you do as a play caller? Uh, you know, luckily it doesn't change a ton. You know, when you, when you've got Joe, and, and we have a ton of confidence in Abdul. You know, you saw him. It's a shame we, you know, they called the penalty on that last one. You saw kind of his burst there. You know, on that last run there. Uh, Abdul's been doing a great job in practice, and we think he's going to be a really, really good player. And the thing that he's done that's always so hard for freshmen is he has picked up the scheme so well. I mean, we have we have a ton of confidence in him. So uh, does it change maybe some of the style of runs here or there? Sure. Um, but, yeah, those guys did a great job, you know, filling in and, and keeping us productive. We talked to Bob about the wind and how it's different now that it's bowled in. You know, the flags coming here. <laughs> did, does it affect any of your play calling? And, and did, did you talk to Baker before the game any about it? We knew from, from being in there some during camp that, that it can swirl a little bit more now. It's not, and, and today was, I think, just one of those days a little bit too, but it's, to me, it's more unpredictable. You know, it gets down in that bowl and there's really no escape and it's just, it's kind of moving like you're saying. The flags are going one way, you throw grass up and it goes the other way. You know, one series, like we're, we got the wind and then, you know, two plays later, we didn't have the win. So uh, the good thing is we get to practice in a ton here. And I, I think when you get in win like that, it it really reveals who is a great thrower and who's just an average thrower. And, uh, you know, Bake's a great thrower. And uh, it, it, it doesn't affect him much in practice, and I don't think it affected him much today. Lincoln, you've, done, you've tried a lot of trick plays since you've been here. I don't know, a lot. Is the right way. You've tried right. several. Right. How often do you... Do you think about stuff like that? Is that? I mean, is it fun to think about stuff like that and draw it up and, and see it work in a game? Yeah, I, we, it's not I. I mean, we, we design those together and uh, we think about it a lot. Um, you know, when you've got some athletes to do it, um, I think it's something the guys always enjoy. I, I think it's important just to have a couple of those in just, just to change it up a little bit, you know, just for the fun for the guys. Um, you know, and, and we've got some guys that are pretty good at them. And again, you know, defenses are so so good these days that you know you get you got to do some things off the beaten path. And uh, you know, our guys have done a great job of executing them. Uh, we've had several this year. Double margin or aggressiveness today, K State. How'd your offensive line handle that? Did you think? I thought pretty good. I you know I thought we passed pro just outstanding. I mean he. You know, I don't think we gave up a sack off the top of my head, and I think he, you know, Bake only had to move in the pocket just a few times, so the pass pro was really good. You know, and there were some things in the run game that were blocked up fine up front. That hey, that's their safeties down right there, and no matter how many times you try to draw it up, you can't get him blocked, and uh, and that's why some of the play action stuff was so open. But I think they just continue to play better and better, continue to play cleaner, um, and the continuity is starting to settle in and help us right now. Your sacks are way down last mm -hmm. year, though. How much is that? Is the offensive line? How much of it is? Baker being a little bit smaller. That's a good question. Yeah, I'd say a, a, a combination of both. You know, we are 
we're a more gifted O-line group than we were last year. Our, you know, you got the two freshmen, you know, Drew and Orlando, that now have grown up and really becoming good players. Uh, and I, th I just think we're, we're a little more talented overall than we were. Um, and then, you know, that was a big point of emphasis in offseason with Bake. You know, if you go back and look at last year, there was way too many unnecessary sacks that didn't have anything to do with protections or anything like that. And so that's been a huge point of emphasis and something that, that he's improved on.